Fisheries Survey of India is having headquarters in Mumbai and uh, it is having uh, six bases and around 11 vessels. It comes under uh, Department of Fisheries which is newly formed Ministry of uh, Fisheries, Animal Husbandry and Dairy in New Delhi. So it is majorly a survey department conducting the survey in the entire uh, exclusive economic zone of India that is 2.02 million square kilometers and uh, at Goa we have uh, two vessels one is uh, MFE Sagarika which is a stern trawler and we have uh, MFE mechanized fishing vessel Elofin which is a multi-filament long liner we use uh, different uh, types of methods of fishing to make familiar uh, to the fishermen and we Whatever the survey findings we get, we tell to the fishermen by resource information series, which is our quarterly publication. And we do conduct workshops uh, to educate the fishermen about the fishery resources, safety at sea, code of conduct for responsible fishing in the local languages. And we go to their village and we conduct the workshop and we educate them so that we can save the fishery resources for future also. Now the emerging trend in the fishery is the tuna fishery resources. So FSI has started already promoting the tuna resources, the tuna, the elephant tuna, which is also called as the chicken of the sea. And there is a lot of export market in Japanese market, mainly the sashimi. It is called as the sashimi grade tuna, uh, which is having a lot of export uh, market. So we do train the local fishermen on board the, our vessels like how to handle the large tuna because the size varies from 10, 5 kgs to 70 kgs. So how to uh, handle the tuna on board without much damage so that the fishermen can get good value for the fish. So how to store it, how to clean it, how to handle it, each and everything and certain navigations also we are teaching to the local fishermen. So at Goa we have MFE Elofin which, uh, which on board we take the uh, fishermen, two or three fishermen for the training and we train them in the latest technology of multi-filament long line. So regarding the career in fisheries, there is a lot of scope for career in fisheries as you know that seafood exports from India is growing and India is the second largest producer of fishery in the world. So regarding the courses, there are uh, right from the state fishery is having a fishery training institute in Goa and then there are uh, bachelor's degree in fisheries, master's in fisheries, other than that majority uni universities like Karnatak University, Cochin University of Science and Technology, they are conducting the marine biology courses and oceanographic courses and then not only fishery biology and oceanography has a lot of scope and there are so many research institutes like uh, we have a survey department like Fisheries Survey of India, then uh, Central Marine Fishery Research Institute which comes under ICR, there are CIFA, CIBA, NIO is there, NCTOR is there, so a lot of scope for job opportunities are there in the field, so all the students who can build their career in the sea, like the scope is also like the sea, because everybody knows more than Majority of the earth area is covered by water. The same way, the opportunities also there in the field of uh, fishery science or marine sciences. So I hope all the best and uh, I uh, ask many students to come and make and make this country as an emerging emerging uh, in the field of uh, fisheries and marine sciences. <laughs> Now, honestly, I'm going to check it again. Honestly, who thinks science is boring? That girl is very honest. So, have a look at the screen as we begin our journey.
बेसिकली दिस साइंस फेस्टिवल में आके कैसा लगा क्या क्या प्रोग्राम आपने अटेंड किए दिन दिन में हमें बहुत सारे सेलिब्रिटी से मिलने का मौका मिला फर्स्ट टाइम सर से मिले हम फिर एंटार्टिका से साइंटिस्ट से मिले तो फिर बहुत इंटरेक्टिव था और हमें बहुत कुछ सीखने को भी मिला बहुत बहुत अच्छी नॉलेज मिली हमको साइंस का पार्ट एंड हम बहुत खुश हैं और हमको मैजिक बॉल बनाने का मौका भी मिला मैजिक बॉल बनाने का मौका भी मिला हमको नई नई चीज़ सीखाई गई और अभी हमने यहाँ पर जो इधर गए थे ना
नमस्कार मेरा नाम संजीत रंजन है और मैं बेतिया बिहार से मैंने किसानों के लिए खास ट्रैक्टर बनाया है जिसमें ना तो डीजल की जरूरत है ना ही पेट्रोल की और ना ही बैटरी की ये सिर्फ मानव ऊर्जा पे कार्य करता है इसकी खासियत यह है कि इसे कहीं भी हम ले आकर रख सकते हैं इसमें एक बुल तेल की जरूरत नहीं है और ना ही मैंटेनेंस की यह सिर्फ बीस हजार में तैयार हुआ यह हमारे किसानों के लिए सबसे अच्छा वरदान साबित हुआ किस तरह से काम करता है ये सर ये साइकिल की तरह काम करता है इसमें बस पाउडरिंग की तरह इस्तेमाल करना है और एक ट्रैक्टर चलता है बहुत स्मूथली चलता है इसे 10 साल का बच्चा भी चला पा रहा है that instructs a submerged triangular bridge shape leaf structures along with each nourishment that led to the formation of each of width about 16 meters near the nuclear. Shoreline mitigation activities have also been carried out at Ramakrishna Beach, Vishakhara, and Kalamur Indian Book of Chennai Coast. Using submerged dike, which helps dissipate the energy of larger waves without completely blocking the waves. The Institute has developed and published the first of its kind of online coastal statistics that include the Technical Criteria Atlas, a digital wave atlas with 50 world return period statistics, a real time oceanographic data portal, fault monitoring system, and storm surge web portal disseminated for the benefit of various stakeholders. The Institute designed and fabricated and demonstrated open sea cages for culture of kingfishes and successfully implemented the same at North Bay, Port Blair, Bolaypura, Tamil Nadu, and Kota Chakra, and quickly power in Nendu, Andhra Pradesh. The Institute shares the nation's vision of blue economy and strives to develop technologies that utilize the vast resources of the ocean to address the problems of resource scarcity and enhance the livelihood of the coastal communities. As a pioneer investor, India has been a lot of 75,000 square kilometer area in the Central Indian Ocean Basin CROB, where the International Sea Authority to its exploration and technology development for polymetallic module mining at 6,000 meters water depth. आमका हंगा तीन दिस हंगा यो आसा फॉर सायंस फेस्टिवल 
आमी हे इको फेस्टिवल आसा ती दिसाले म्हजो एक्सपिरियन्स बरो आशिल्लो आमी थंय एक्सपिरिमेंट्स पासून पोवपा गेले दे वॉज ऑल्सो गुड सो एन आयो आमी काल एन आयो पासून गेल्ले थंय पासून बरो एक्सपिरियन्स आयलो आमकां सो इट वॉज अ गुड एक्सपिरियन्स फॉर म्हाजे नाव रिशांग नरेंद्र गावकर देसाय आणि हांव गोवा कॉलेज गोवमेंट कॉलेज पी एस सी सेकेंड इयर आम्ही हंगा तीन दीस जाले इको फेस्टिवल आसा आमच्या हंगा एक्सपिरियन्स खूप बरो आसा आमकां हंगा एक बॅग 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 सुद्धा दिला आम्ही काल एक्सप्लोर सुद्धा केले थंय खूप आमकां बरो एक्सपिरियन्स मेळो खूप एक्सपिरमेंट पोवपा मेळ्ळे आणि खूप नॉलेज सुद्धा मेळी आमकां आणि एनवायरमेंटाच्या बद्दल सुद्धा आमकां इको फेस्टिवलान खूप आमकां नॉलेज मेळी सो थँक्यू सायन्स फेस्टिवल ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन हॅलो आय एम आरती थोरी सो आय एम फ्रॉम कॅपन कॉलेज ओके अँड आय गॉट अ सेम नंबर ऑफ स्टुडंट हियर द एक्सपिरियन्स हियर इज व्हेरी गुड वी हॅव लॉट ऑफ नॉलेज वी शेअर सो मच इन्फॉर्मेशन अँड द रिसोर्स पर्सन वॉज व्हेरी गुड हियर